Okay, so looking at an inverted mode operational amplifier with an AC input, so we had a signal generator here creating an input voltage, an AC input voltage. We have an oscilloscope here to measure what the output voltage looks like, and these uh, uh, resistors here, remember, determine what the gain is. So if we look at a small input voltage, uh, then we have, if we look at that in blue, a small input voltage is going to create an output voltage that is the, the inverse, the opposite in sign. You know, when one is positive, the other is negative, and it's also going to be larger. That's absolutely fine. So it looked something like that. So we produce uh, a, a sine wave in the output. We've got a sine wave in the input. It's all fine there. But then if we begin to increase the input voltage to a point where it's going, the gain is going to produce an output voltage that is larger than plus or minus the supply voltage, then that can't happen. So that's when saturation kicks in. So I'll show you what that looks like on the oscilloscope. So as we change that, we can still see the rough shape of the the, uh, the sine wave, sorry, um, but it's leveling out at the positive and negative values. Uh, it's leveling out at around about 12 or 13, which is about 85% of what the supply is. So that's how we end up with this shape here. The, uh, the top of the sine wave cannot be seen because that would create a voltage that is greater than, than plus or minus Vs. So that's why we can no longer see that. Um, at these peaks. So that's not seen at all because that would produce a voltage that is greater than the voltage of the supply, which is not allowed. If we go back to this again and I increase the, the input voltage even more, then what we end up with is a completely square wave. That's because the input that is going in there is going to create a really, really big output. So what we end up with is a, a sine wave that's going to be much sharper than the, the previous ones that we've looked at. So what we're going to end up with is, is something that looks maybe like that and starts to curve in up here. So up to, to this point of saturation, um, it becomes, you know, it's, it's just going to amplify the voltage as normal. But um, it can't go any higher than, say, that 85% of what the plus or minus supply voltage is. So it levels out. So that's how we end up getting that square wave. So you can use an inverting amplifier with an AC input to create a square wave. The sine wave flattens out at around about 85% of plus or minus uh, Vs. And if the input voltage is high enough, then we'll get a completely square wave. That's because uh, the voltage up to saturation is amplified as normal, uh, which creates um, a really steep gradient. And otherwise, we can't see what the curve of the sine wave is. So although the curve of the sine wave might look something like this, you know, we're only going to catch you know, this portion of it. So we're only going to get that because it can't go any higher than this. Because you know, plus or minus Vs is up here somewhere, and this is about 85% of plus or minus Vs. So saturation can be used with an inverted amplifier uh, with an AC input to create a square wave.